Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias. Welcome back to the X Frontier. Yeah, if you're watching this, you clicked on this for the thousand dollar giveaway, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, no, I don't blame you. So would I, man. I'm actually going to watch it for the thousand dollars later. But you also came here for some Casper news. So let's get straight to it. First up, we got another exchange listing for Casper. Let's go. We have Casper now listed on KuCoin. We still have some of the top exchanges holding out yet to list Casper. Some of these exchanges are Binance, FTX, Coinbase, but they will follow suit. They will come. But for now, we'll take what we can. We got Casper on KuCoin. Some of the details to pay attention to is that you can deposit your Casper immediately. You can go on the exchange right now, deposit it. There will be the custodians for your crypto. Trading doesn't begin until June 29th. That is two days from now at 10 UTC time. Withdrawals would not begin until the following day after June 30th at 10 o'clock UTC time. But then there's also more news from this new listing. Think of it as a two for one special. We're going to have a special AMA, which is an Ask Me Anything on the KuCoin Telegram channel. Where you're going to be able to ask questions to the CEO and co-founder of Casper Labs, Renal Manahar, alongside board member of the Casper Association, Ralph Kubli. This is going to take place tomorrow, June 28th at 2 p.m. Central Eastern Time. That's 10 a.m. Eastern Time. That is 7 a.m. Pacific Time, my time. So again, make sure that you are aware of your time zones. All right, so here are some of the details of what you need to do in order to be eligible for the $1,000 worth of giveaways. One is join the KuCoin AMA. They are going to have three different envelopes for their giveaway. Two red envelopes are going to contain 300 USDT for all users. And then there's going to be one red envelope for new users containing 300 USDT. The last section is going to have a free ask section where you're going to be able to participate and ask questions. And if you're selected, you get a chance to win 20 USDT. So that's five winners of 20 USDT each. The red envelopes are going to be dispersed to all members. And so you'll receive a link in the Telegram. It's going to prompt you to copy it into your KuCoin app. So if you don't have a KuCoin account, you want to make one ASAP. So from there, you'll get the code, you'll copy or open it up in your app. And really, it's going to come down to first come, first serve per the discussion on the Telegram with the KuCoin moderators. And if you miss out on not getting one of those $300 USDT envelopes, don't worry. Remember, there's that free section where you can ask questions. So make sure to stay active, participate to give yourselves a better shot at winning at least 20 USDT. Now, if you don't even make it to the 20 USDT, giveaway hey don't worry because the real reward comes from the knowledge you're going to receive by participating in this ama if you're a long-term casper holder this is invaluable stuff like you're hearing it straight from the horse's mouth you're going to be ahead of the curve in terms of knowing what you're investing in and knowing where the direction of casper is going in the future so kudos to you guys if you participate i'll definitely be there all right, so this one's for my visual learners. Link in the description. I did mention how to receive the red envelope, what you needed to do, but here are the instructions, right? You can get them here. When someone sends you a red envelope, you'll receive a corresponding message. You copy the text onto your phone, open up the KuCoin app. It'll automatically detect a red envelope. Once the envelope is detected, just tap open to claim it. It's that easy. Again, it's going to be on a first come, first serve basis. So the quicker you are, the better your chances are of opening these red envelopes. I also wanted to share out this tweet with you guys from Casper Labs featuring Meta Parlikar, the CTO of Casper Labs, sitting down with Holly Shannon on her podcast discussing blockchain adoption, NFTs, and most importantly, the key thing was that Web3 blockchain does not exist without Web2. Remember that Meta Parlikar brings 25 years of experience in the enterprise web 2 software development so she is just a pack full of knowledge and very insightful i'll leave the link in the description down below if you want to take a listen to it does not require a, an apple subscription and it's no surprise that meta was mentioned as the top 101 ctos 
in the IT space. Awesome job, Meta. Keep it up. It's so amazing to see a badass, intelligent woman dominate in what used to be a male dominated space. But I know there's a lot of women entering crypto, especially through NFTs. So shout out to all the women in crypto that are making a change and making waves. Let's go. And continuing on a technical note, we have this tweet by Casper Network. Reminder, signer version 1.4.14 will be released. Next version, the signer is going to add support for the Casper Army, DLN DAO, verified impact NFTs, and Casper Chess. So remember, you're going to need to re-enable the extension by accepting the new permissions. Make sure to do that if you use Casper Signer. So taking a quick look over at the Casper price action, we see that we've been in a downward channel since the end of last year. We finally have seemed to found some support down here at the two and a half cent range and have had positive action the last seven days. So just looking at two indicators, our MACD looks pretty good looking towards the upside. We still have some room to run on the RSI for the daily as well. So when we take a look over at the weekly time frame, we see that the RSI is starting to pierce upwards. Still fairly early. MACD's showing signs of strength as well. But again, fairly early. We'll see how this plays out, but I am looking at a couple of things to see the strength of Casper moving forward. So within the next couple of days, weeks, depending on how price action plays out, I'm looking for Casper to really break above five and a half cents, which is where I have this green horizontal line here. Because as you can see, we've been creating lower lows and higher lows, this whole channel going down. But I think as, as soon as we reclaim above five and a half cents and turn that resistance into support again, then we'll be able to say that we're making higher highs and possibly be breaking above this channel. So again, looking at the weekly time frame, we're looking at the same thing. We want to break that five and a half cents. And once we do, as you can tell, we break above that and hold this as support. We would have created a new higher high on a weekly time frame. And larger macro time frames give a better perspective on where the market is headed versus looking at the hourly chart. So keep that in mind. So the second indicator that I'm looking for, aside from the five and a half cents and creating a higher high, is the volume. Right now, currently, the volume is sitting around 137 million. What I'm looking for on a weekly time frame is for the volume to be higher above 500 million. Between 500 million to a billion on a weekly time frame is pretty healthy for Casper, as we have seen in the past. And on a daily time frame, we're looking at volume above 100 million. Right now, currently, we are at about 65 million. A couple weeks back we were at 72 million but yeah anything above 100 million on a daily time frame is really strong for Casper as the past has indicated so that pretty much wraps it up for today's video I appreciate any feedback if you found value in today's video don't forget to hit the like button and if you're new to the channel and you found value as well don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell and if you're still watching you guys are truly pioneers in this space ladies and gentlemen both with that being said, I appreciate you all, and remember, nothing ventured, nothing gained. This is the way.